Hello, welcome back to Building Modern APIs with RESTful. My name is Mateo, and in this video, we're going to continue exploring advanced topics on how to control the behavior of the RESTful module to get uh, the exact behavior that you want for your API generation. So, uh, in this example, what I want to, to do is I want to create a functionality that disables all of the resources based on a checkbox that we have. So we're gonna build a settings form that we are going to make available to in the settings page and if that settings form is not checked no resource will be made available. So I'm gonna go to um, to the settings page under Web Services RESTful and uh, let me disable Xdebug, it's going to be a little bit faster and I want to create a new tab here with our custom module so I have the code already here so this is going to be a little bit faster so this is standard Drupal behavior I'm going to create a hook menu that uh, adds an admin form that I also have right here and that admin form only contains a, a, sorry, a checkbox so I'm gonna save this and then I'm gonna clear caches I'm gonna go back here and this will create a tab here because I use the local task it, when this is ready, okay, this is ready so I'm going to refresh this, this creates this tab and this has this, um, this uh, checkbox here and now I have this populated because I was making some tests uh, in advance so I'm going to just delete the variable this variable delete I think it's that and then the name of the variable oops in here right so that was deleted and now if I refresh this yeah this is blank so basically I created um, a checkbox that uh, if it's not checked then the all of the resources are disabled so I'm going to just clear caches and make sure that everything is in the original state to remove anything that I may, ha may have had in my previous tests. I'm going to close this tab and since I don't have this available to me, uh, sorry, this I, I don't have this checked, I don't want to, sorry, country, I don't want this to show up. But so far I have only added a checkbox, so uh, there is nothing that I'm, I'm doing. So what I need to do is to alter the resource based on runtime configuration and the runtime configuration is the contents of this variable here the, the terms of service agreement so uh, one hook that I have available to me is the hook resource alter so I'm going to implement that hook and what I'm going to do is I'm going to check if the variable is set to true and if not then I'm going to just disable the resource by calling resource arrow disable and yeah that should be that should be it uh, the only extra thing that I want to do is since I need the the menu items to be refreshed I'm going to just uh, set this variable this is standard Drupal behavior this is going to tell Drupal that hey whenever I send this form see how I'm connecting this with the form whenever I send this form I submit this form I need to rebuild the menu address so I'm going to put a breakpoint here and now 
I'm going to refresh this. All right, so, so far I haven't made this change to kick in because I need to, as usual, clear caches. Clearing caches, right? And now I'm going to, this is the, the code I want to check and this is the form that I'm going to pull up in here. So I'm going to refresh this. This is not set. I'm going to save configuration. As you can see now, if I execute this, the content is zero, so it's false. So we should go in and disable the resource. So uh, I'm going to disable the resource. And if you see here, the resource is the CRSRF token. And I'm gonna play this and you're gonna see that I'm doing this for every resource. Discovery, files upload, etc. So I'm disabling every resource that is available. Uh, I'm gonna remove the breakpoint and keep playing. And that should be it. Now, if I go to API bands, it says that it's 404, uh, that there is nothing there. So, now I'm gonna save this. And since I saved this, I have just put the, the variable to true. So this is not going to go in here and the resources are not going to be available anymore. And of course, I have refreshed the menu cache using this. So uh, what that means is if I refresh this one, and let me go back here, since this is enabled, all the resources are going to be enabled again. So you can see how you can get runtime configuration to affect a resource or not. And uh, in here, you basically can do anything that, that you need. So make sure that you uh, use your logic and maybe, I don't know, uh, you get resource get resource name equals bands and then you act only on the on the bands if you want to only act on the band so this is just the logic that that you need and that your custom module needs again this is advanced stuff this altering of the resource should not be something that you should do very often uh, all the functionality should be provided uh, for you out of the box but if you have an edge case and you need to push the restful module forward this is the way that you can do it um, and lastly let me show you how we in the restful module are using oops are using this so if you go to restful Refer resource alter, you'll see that we have a variable called disabled plugins that you can just use to disable your plugin. So we, we could modify that to, to just say, hey, uh, disable this, these plugins and just set this variable. But the, the example was more interesting the other way. And you can see how, how we check if the, if the, if the resources are available or not etc etc and we do some uh, changes depending on on what and here uh, as you can see how we are acting only on a bay on, on a specific plugin only if it's the files upload plugin we check if the if the plugin is enabled or not and then we act on this so yeah this is how you can uh, again modify the behavior of your resources based on your runtime configuration and your weird business logic. So I hope that this is useful to you. Thank you.